Welcome to Tuesday's Tips from So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and we often can buy our favorite thread in very large spools. It is definitely very cost-saving. However, unlike the little spools, the big spools will not fit on home machines, and they're not designed to sit on a machine. It's designed so that it sits and the thread comes off. So you will need to have that nice big spool of thread sitting on the back of your machine. Now you can buy thread holders that are designed right for that, but we can also make our own. And we can make them very pretty from leftover stuff that you have in your house. The first thing you're going to need is a hanger. We're going to cut this hanger and mold it into an arm. So you're going to need a pair of pliers that you can bend the wire and also cut the wire. You can get the hangers in different metal weights, so just make sure you find one that you're able to work with. We already have one bend and the long arm, and that's what we're going to work with. And depending on how soft or how hard the metal is, you might just be able to cut it. If you find you can't cut it, just squeeze and just twist back and forth a little bit. So you're going to put a little bit of a groove in that wire and just continue squeezing and then move it back and forth a little bit. And just by moving that back and forth and squeezing at the same time, you're going to be able to cut that wire. So I've cut the one end because I want this long straight piece. The next is I'm going to want to make a hook or a bit of a curl up at the top. So I'm going to just come down a couple of inches and cut into that arm. Squeeze and as you squeeze just roll it back and forth and it will cut. This is what we're going to need so we can dispose of that. We need to take this and just continue a hook and you'll find the wires easier to bend than cut. And that's the shape you want. You want to leave a space because you want to be able to put the thread in. Now that you've done this, we need to clean up those ends because they're going to be a little sharp. A nail file will work fine. Just keep doing that until you get off all the burrs. Make sure that this is nice and smooth, that it's not going to catch on anything. And do that to both ends. Once the wire is prepared, we need to find a container. And this is where we can have a lot of fun and make it very unique. We need to have this thread sit in a container. Candle containers work really well. Glass jars, old vases from flowers, even a candle holder that you can take apart works great because that will fit right inside. We don't need a post to hold that thread into place. It will stay into place all on its own. We're looking for a container that's not really, really big, but not really tight either. We're going to take this long wire and we're going to attach it onto the side of the container. You can glue them down or tape them down. You can even tape it or glue it to the inside. When you do tape or attach this onto the container, this little hook part should be coming somewhat in the center of that thread. You don't want that hook to the outside. You want it facing inside. So when that spool of thread goes inside, we're able to loop that around. The spool of thread is not going to move. But if you want, you can always put something in the bottom, like a piece of foam, or an old doily always looks nice. And that just assures that it doesn't wobble at all. And this is all I need to bring to the back of my machine. The machines are designed for the threads coming in this angle. So you don't need an arm very, very high. Just something with a gradual little slope is all you're going to need. And you can always test it and adjust it to fit your own machine. With my thread holder on the back, I'm going to be able to just thread my machine as I normally would do. I can also have it go and fill my bobbin the same as I would normally. It is functional and it looks nice and it took no time at all to make. I do hope you give it a try. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back.
Lisa, where we're sewing, next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.